So my name is Ken Zapir, I work for Reval. Reval is a leading uh, global provider of treasury and risk management software and uh, within the organization I'm responsible for sales and client relations for our banking clients. Um, so well, there's uh, obviously a big networking e event that the industry really um, gets together. So that is uh, exciting as such to you know meet a lot of colleagues, meet uh, clients, obviously, mm -hmm. and then you know talk about the latest trends in the industry and, uh, and what is going on. So um, for us, being a software provider, obviously the, the technology innovation is, is most exciting. Um, particularly the conversations around open banking, how you can be more agile, and ultimately get to a user experience that is centered around the clients. Really and not organized in the historical ways of your channels and so forth. So that's I think where a lot of the excitement this year is. Uh, I mean, the, the, the general challenge um, that we see with, with the corporate clients out there is certainly around globalization. So uh, companies get more global very quickly. So they move into uh, new markets, they, new, they move abroad, and that raises new challenges around uh, risks with uh, different currencies, with the different countries, with the different um, counterparties. So there's a need to, to address those, uh, those risks. There's a need to gain cash visibility to actually see uh, what is there. So what Reval provides to help here is uh, a platform that banks can integrate uh, both on the front end but also uh, in the back end to leverage all the data that is available uh, and that creates truly that client view, so that global view into your cash positions, into your cash activity, helping corporates to better understand what a liquidity is, providing tools to also um, optimize that liquidity, to forecast um, better, to free your trapped cash and to minimize your idle cash. A lot of the challenges that, that we see from basically within the banks um, is that view and that organization into very much a domestic uh, market kind of view. So uh, for particularly that corporate that moves abroad, that goes global, um, essentially, a bank may well have services that are great in the home markets, uh, but not typically a global service that, uh, that they can offer. So those are some of the, uh, the things where again Reval can help with uh, providing that global umbrella and, uh, and providing that global view to the clients. Really, the visualization uh, is, is what we, where we can help. Uh, banks host so much data, um, and the question is always, how can you actually transport that back? And you don't want your clients to log into seven different systems to actually, you know, get uh, your trade data here, your FX data there, um, and your account data in the third system. So bringing that all together into the client's high-level liquidity dashboard to make them understand, basically, on one screen, on your tablet, on your mobile phone, uh, what that dashboard looks like, what your liquidity is, and then making informed business decision uh, based on the information that you gather, that is what we bring uh, to the table. In, in our model and what Reval does is, uh, is twofold. We provide uh, direct software to uh, the largest corporates out there in the world through uh, a cloud-based offering. So uh, in that direct approach, access is very easy. You, you log on, uh, you use your favorite browser and uh, log on to the software and, and off you go. Um, the, the other approach that we uh, have is partnering with the banks and the approach is uh, just as easy, being offered through the, web's, uh, the web portal um, of the bank. Again, the client logs into uh, his known environment and then uh, the cash and liquidity area is just another element on your drop-down list, if you will, and uh, you gain access to that. Above that, so I think what is becoming more and more um, prevalent is mobile access, of course. So uh, we have uh, recently invested in mobile channels to also bring that information through your tablet, maybe also through the phone, but really optimized for, for tablet use to have that liquidity uh, dashboard at your fingertips at any time. So what we experience is that flexibility is, is the first and, uh, and foremost here. Um, and as you say, there is a, a lot of like regulatory environment that is changing and it is changing at a very fast pace. If you look into Asia, for example, all the different uh, markets that you have there with uh, regulation really changing at a very fast pace. Just thinking of, uh, of China, the, the treatment of the renminbi, the free trade zone and uh, zones and, and so forth. So really providing flexible um, tools on the one hand side to adapt to the local market needs. Uh, but at the same time also providing tools that uh, are so standardized that it's actually easy for the clients to consume all the information and all, all the interactivity that is there. That is the challenge that we're balancing and that is uh, ultimately what makes us successful. 
how we see it, it is really along that uh, path that the, the corporates make towards sophistication of their treasury. Um, and treasury is certainly most sophisticated uh, in Europe, then probably followed by, uh, by the US, Asia, um, and, uh, and Africa. So, um, you know, following along the past, those requirements also change. At the same time, in, in Asia, for example, we have the, the biggest growth uh, from an economy's perspective. So there's uh, the, the most bus, there is the, the, the fastest pace in how requirements actually change. Um, so for us, um, Asia is really a, a focus point right now, where you see that, that typical movement of the client that grows. And then as you grow, the, the banker becomes the first um, partner that you want to work with well, help me with my new challenges, help me with my international liquidity management, help me with my um, FX risk management that's, that suddenly arises. And this is where we again can, can help and can step in when the bank is focused on the domestic market and then needs to expand its services abroad, we can form that, uh, that umbrella from a liquidity management and uh, visibility perspective. I think the, the whole cryptocurrency debate and, and the whole debate around uh, blockchain and so forth that, uh, that, that we are having, um, what it is missing as, as of today is the true fundamental like disrupting use case. Um, what we see is uh, currently the industry is doing things better that we've always been doing, but not necessarily in a very different way. And uh, there's a lot of uh, talk around uh, blockchain to actually facilitate real-time payments. Well, we have found ways to facilitate uh, real-time payments in different ways. So blockchain is a, is a nice means, uh, but again, the disruptive uh, use case is, is actually lacking today. And the same, I think, applies for, for cryptocurrencies. Um, I don't think that you know, we will move away from, from the established one. There's still a need uh, for central regulation for, for the banking system. For, uh, for central banks, so uh, I, I don't think that this is going to go away anytime soon. If I look into the, the, the trends that I observe, it is really that one theme um, around stepping into the, the client's shoes and uh, really like centering uh, everything around what the client actually wants, particularly uh, I think on the, on the user front end, on the user experience, so moving away from, uh, from the channels into uh, the omni-channel, into uh, the one view that the client actually wants. I think this is ultimately where uh, where banks are moving today uh, and this is also I think where, where they should be moving because the client doesn't care about the organization uh, on, on the other side. They care um, about their own problems, their own challenges and uh, want the banks to help them solve those.